few trips to my channel I've another day and counter ships of the NSB. If you're following me right now, I'm trying to finish up as much as I can for this mental health and wellness channel playlist that I've created up right now so that hopefully it'll be ready for people that may need to have it as a learning aid tool or whatever it may be. And in further ado though, I have covered so far about the first one which was self-harm and all the ins and outs about it, you know, definition, what types there are, the misconceptions, myths, and the like and this goes for the eating disorders and now with this eating disorder one and I'm talking about right now will be what to, not to say to someone with an eating disorder so in all further ado though we need to remind ourselves to what and how we say things to each other especially for people that comes about in our circle in a way of you know if they have an eating disorder or the depression whatnot obviously that's why I'm here to teach you all or to educate you all right now to hopefully know how to approach someone that has that sort of you know mental illness or some form of condition that they have right now so that it makes you think and wonder that this is the right way or wrong way because we need to realize that how we say things may affect others in the long run even though many people might disagree with that but that's fine with me sometimes we have to realize though when we're talking to someone with an eating disorder however there are pretty much some personal statements that has come about that has been said about you know to a person with an eating disorder exactly as well and then um many of times though some of the tensions we say to one another maybe for the good or maybe for the bad it's just as i said how we address ourselves in a way of to assure ourselves that we need to be in the right frame of mind of those people and be in their shoes for whatever it may be or what have you Anyway, I just thought to put this out as I have with all these other videos just to remove all these stereotype thinking of what all these mental disorders is all about and obviously to just give a clear, better understanding and awareness of it all so that we hopefully can work together as a team and actually support one another and not tear each other down. Okay, and all for the though, this is, as I said, what not to say to an anorexia or people with a needing disorder, I'll just bear with it. So, number one is you don't even look sick. Okay, remember there are many different types of eating disorders, as you are fully aware. Even though sometimes, however, not all people suffer from this every type of eating disorder that we see, or shall we say, not many people will suffer like the type of way of, you know, looking sick by looking underweight or whatever class it may be. Because as I said, if, as I was going to introduce of the misconception, Eating disorders can affect people in many different shapes and forms, be it underweight, be it, you know, fit athletic people, it, all this myth is wrong of that because obviously people with eating disorders can be a, attacked by any form and also with these eating disorders is genetic and it obviously run, may run in the family and also it's a mental disorder as well like any other disorder I have addressed so far. Number two, maybe if it just exercises more you won't be have to restrict that eating. Again, there are very variety of symptoms for people who suffer from eating disorders, however, just the, they are complicated mental illnesses, healthy ways of losing weight, just won't serve the same functions as just every other everyday activity, be it, you know, we exercise one minute, then we restrict our food eating, whatever the case may be. Number three, shouldn't you try eating healthier instead? That in itself, why should why should they? It's a matter of choice factor. I know many people may disagree, but every time we choose something, obviously, be it in this case, we may try to eat healthier. Sometimes some of us just feel that we might need to, you know, be able to lose the weight. But this isn't always the aim or goal here for the ones that are with the eating disorders. What is it? It's just the control of self-harm, protectionism and emotional management of themselves, of how they see themselves as a person. Because obviously, as I have learned, basically, with eating disorders, you know, it's how we look at ourselves in a way as a person, you know, do are we feeling all right? Are we, you know, valuing ourselves in the right way or another? Number four is you look so healthy. This can be a tough one or a tough call to decide what the definition of healthy is. When in recovery stage, however, with this person of an eating disorder, the person's mindset will automatically switch on high overdrive gear. 
that when talking about this, about the weight. Don't adduce anything about the weight, however, to them, because obviously, as many people think, uh, the weight thing, ugh, you know, it's just a number. Why, the, you, why don't you just tell us how you weigh, how much you weigh and stuff, you know? Maybe you could try something like, you seem really happy lately. Glad to see you're doing some of your favourite things again, you know? Just something that will actually just push away from the factor of their weight factor and that hopefully that we can just engage with them. Don't you know you're hurting yourself? Again, this is similar to what you may have heard of this quote when I've mentioned it in the self-harm or depression series maybe. I don't know, but whatever the case may be, you know, we need to come to a place of caring. Even though we know our hearts are in the right place for those people that love and care about. But then, like I said before, it's the right way and the wrong way of saying it at the right time and the wrong time. Sometimes you've got to realise though, the ones we love and care about don't really want to hurt themselves, even though if they are self-harming just by starving themselves and whatnot. But then again, you've got to realise that, you know, nine times out of ten, that's, that's their choice. Number six, there are so many calories in that food that you're eating. Number seven, you would be prettier if you gained some weight and more. Basically, that ends basically the eating disorders of what not to say to a person with an eating disorder please give me the like for thumbs up for support as well and also just feel free to comment below your stories or some comments i'm going to challenge right now for you to challenge me if for the ones that has an eating disorder maybe of all these you know statements that you you feel is right to share with us about what's not to say to you is to not offend you or hurt you in any way all along for the day guys also, I'll hopefully, as I said, keep uploading every so often if I can, just depending on my schedule because obviously it might change. Also, feel free to share the videos to family and friends and also these videos, as I said many times before, can be shared as a learning aid resource tool for others, obviously, so that hopefully we can just create an awareness and understanding within each other. So in all for the do, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Love yourself. Be yourself. Love what you do. Do what you love. And I'll see you all again soon. Oh, 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 oh,